What is going on everybody, it's Stas here. Welcome back to another video. So I wanted to hop on here this afternoon and talk about four ETFs that I personally trade during extremely volatile times in the stock market. So I have a couple of notes here on my phone regarding all of these four ETFs that we're going to be talking about on this video so let's just get right into it guys if you enjoy this video feel free to hit that like button if you enjoy the content and you want to see further content for me consider subscribing and let's get right into it guys so the first one that i want to talk about and you're probably familiar with this one if you've been watching my videos over the past couple of months and that one is tvix also known as credit suisse Nassau Velocity SHS DAI ETN guys and this is one that's probably the most volatile one out of the four that we're going to be talking about in today's video. And this one, you can see it in the ticker actually, trades on the VIX, which is a volatility index, and it typically goes up in price when the overall markets are heading down in value, right? The S&P 500, for example, we noticed it's been selling off over the past couple of days. We've had some rebound days here in the recent future over the past two, three days. And what did TVIX do during this time period, right? Take a look at it. We spiked from $19 all the way to about nearly $32 per share. And as the S&P has been recovering over these past couple of days, TVIX has been falling, right? And notice how the VIX here, which is a volatility index when the market is going crazy, when we're seeing swings of 70 points down on the SPX one day, you know, a 70 point down the next day, 500 points down for the Dow, the VIX is going crazy. Easy, right? Take a look at the VIX here from $12 all the way up to $18 on the 6th of May. We literally had a push from $15 all the way to $23 in the matter of a couple of days. And <clears throat> Excuse me, and this is during the time period where the markets were falling drastically. So this one TVIX, guys, it's pretty much a 2x um, leveraged ETF, good for when the markets are extremely volatile and it trades on the VIX. Probably again the most volatile one out of the four we're going to be talking about in today's video. So the next one is actually one that I ended up trading today. I got out of my position about an hour ago, and that one is TQQQ. And this is actually a leveraged ETF that trades, I believe, 3x leveraged on the NASDAQ 100. So let's say the NASDAQ, which is the NQ here, let's say it's going up 30 points in a day like it did at one point today, I believe. If we go on the one day, one minute, we can see, you know, we had that big spike. Let's say it goes up 1%. You can expect the uh, TQQQ ETF roughly to be up about 3% versus the 1% up for the NASDAQ, right? Does it always work perfectly in line in terms of the 3X? It doesn't. It doesn't, to be completely honest with you. But most of the time, it's roughly 3x the movement of the NASDAQ, right? The NASDAQ 100 here. And if we're going back over to TQQQ or TQQ, however many Qs there are, sometimes I say four or five Qs, sometimes it's three, but all you need to know is it's three Qs after the T, right? That's the ticker symbol. And we can notice over the past couple of days, let's say the 20 day, one hour, you know, as the markets have been going down, TQQ. Q has been going down as well. So it pretty much just follows the movement of the NASDAQ, right? It's going down when the NASDAQ is going down. It's going up when the NASDAQ is going up, right? And this is a bit more volatile than the fourth bull ETF that we're going to be talking about here in a little bit. And Remember, guys, these are volatile. They're not really meant to be held, you know, overnight. You can lose your butt on them, right? They're pretty risky, and they're mostly meant for 
day trading, right? Intraday plays, let's say the market's up 3%, you can expect roughly a 9, 10% gain on TQQ. Q, however many Qs, again, I, I can't really count in my head. And this would be good for that situation, right? When the market is going up. And let's just break down a trade that I personally made today very quickly, right? On the one day, one minute here, we notice this big spike. And at this point in time, if we go to the NASDAQ on the one day, one minute, we can see the big spike that we saw, right? We notice at about 75.30, I believe, we popped up, we pulled back. I got in right around this time period on the TQQQ, ended up selling roughly at about 61.15 in terms of the price on TQQQ. And guys, that was about a 1.2% gain right there when the the NQ moved roughly like 0.3, 0.4%, right? I believe I got in at about $60 roughly and let's say 30 cents up to about 61.16. Yup, you can see roughly a 1.2% gain on the TQQQ ETF. So that's pretty much how it moves, right? It trades on the NASDAQ 100. It's a 3X leveraged ETF. It's going up when the NASDAQ is going up. So the next one we're going to be talking about is actually the reverse of TQQQ. It's SQQQ. And SQQQ also trades on the NASDAQ 100, right? But instead of going up when the NASDAQ is going up, SQQQ is a short ETF. It's going down when the NASDAQ is going up, and it's going up whenever the NASDAQ is selling off at a 3x rate, right? So let's say the NASDAQ is going down 1%. You can expect the SQQQ ETF to be down roughly about 3% or up 3% roughly, right? So we can see here on the NQQ or the NQ rather, you can see it's it's down about 0.43% right now, hopping over here to the SQQ. Again, it's not exactly 3X, but we can see the SQQQ is up about 1%. So it's up about like 2.5 times, um, you know, what the NQ is down. And if we're looking on the 20-day chart, so you guys can get a bit better uh, of an understanding here, take a look at the movement, right? It's been going up as the NQ has been selling off, right? That's pretty much the, uh, the, the, ba the basis of this ETF. And remember, this is a very volatile ETF, just like the TQQQ. Not as volatile as TVIX, but I'd say if TVIX is tier one in terms of volatility, you know, QQQ and uh, or uh, TQQQ rather and SQQQ, they're tier two of volatility. And this next one we're going to be talking about, it's not a leveraged ETF, but it's still a bull ETF that tracks the NASDAQ that you can play when the markets are volatile. And that one is QQQ. No T, just three Qs. And again, this one is not leveraged at all. It's trading on the NASDAQ 100. And it pretty much goes up when the NASDAQ's going up and it's going down when the NASDAQ is going down, right? So it pretty much just follows the NASDAQ. Not crazy movements here because remember, it's not leveraged, meaning it's just moving, you know, the same way as the NASDAQ, right? Roughly here, right? We can notice the minus 2.8% here. If we go to the NASDAQ, it's going to be roughly the same, right? Minus 3.7%. Again, not the exact same because it's just not the exact same, right? That's just not how it works to completely. It's roughly the same, right? Remember that, guys. So that's pretty much it, right? We have TVIX, which is tier one volatility. That one can literally run 40% in a day. We actually saw that a couple of days ago where it did have a 40% day. Tier two, we have SQQQ, TQQQ, one's a short, one's a bull, right? TQQQ is going up when the NASDAQ 100 is going up at a 3x leveraged rate. SQQQ is going down when the NASDAQ is going up, and it's going up when the NASDAQ is going down at a 3x leveraged rate. And those, again, are tier two uh, in terms of volatility, in my personal opinion. And the third one is more of a safe 
uh, ETF known as the QQQ. And this one is actually the only one out of the bunch. I might as well just mention that in this video that you actually can hold long term, right? Because a lot of these other ones, you know, not to get too into depth on that because it'll be hugely long video. It would be a very long video here. But the other ones experience something called decay, right? They, they decay over time, which is why they're not really meant to be held over time because you're pretty much just losing losing value month after month, year after year through the decay, right? I was reading online on TVIX, you literally lose like 15% per month from decay or something like that. Don't quote me on that. But literally, guys, you're losing money from decay. The three ones, TQQQ, SQQQ, TVIX, these are literally meant to be very short-term plays, you know, mostly day trades. You can swing them for a couple of days. You can get away with that. But anything more than like a month, two months, you know, a couple of weeks, that's not going to be good for those. But T, uh, QQQ, rather, it's not leveraged. Again, this is one that you can hold for the long term. You can swing trade it for a month or two months, and you can hop in and out of it in terms of when the markets are volatile for day trading, but their returns, they aren't as great as, you know, some of these leveraged ones because QQQ is just simply not leveraged, right? You're not going to be making as much returns as you would make on a TQQQ trade or a SQQQ trade or a TVIX trade. But I figured I'd still mention it in this video to offer some safety in terms of, uh, you know, an ETF to mention, right? This one's more safe. It's a bit less volatile, again, due to it not being uh, leveraged. And that's pretty much it, guys. If you enjoyed this video, let me know down below in the comment section. What do you think about these four ETFs? Do you trade them? I would love to know. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit that like button. It really supports me and supports the channel in general. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet subscribed. Hit that notification bell. I'm uploading content here pretty much day to day throughout the entire week. So Saturdays, there's there may be a video, sometimes not. And every Sunday, I talk about 10 stocks that I'm watching for the upcoming week. And I also take requests from you guys on every Sunday about stocks that you want me to talk about. So I'll catch you all in the next video. I'll... Hope you all enjoyed it. Have a great day. Peace out.